If you play games on your PC, pretty much your only option is to use Windows because of its wide game compatibility and the number of tools that you get. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how controller calibration works in Windows. So Windows 11 has a built-in controller calibration tool which is called uh, Setup USB Game Controllers. So all you have to do is uh, press the start menu to open up the search option and search for USB Game Controllers and you'll see this option pop up. I'm going to click on this and a small window will appear. Now you'll notice there are no controllers here but as soon as I activate my 8-bit2 controller you will see that the option will pop up there. Now, if I go ahead and click properties, you will see that uh, I can give the controller input and it's reading all of the different inputs right here. So now we're going to calibrate it. To do this, head over to the settings section here and then click on calibrate. Click on next. And now just do as the calibrator tells you to. So click uh, leave the D-pad center and click next. Now, uh, this is axis calibration for the left stick. So I'm going to move the left stick around. And as you can see, it is starting to read all of those inputs. So I will press all of the D-pad's corners and then press a button. Then uh, leave the D-pad centered again, which is your RS this time. Go ahead. And now uh, this one is for my triggers. So uh, don't quite go for whatever the um calibration tool tells you it's more of what input uh, your controller receives so as you can see i can press my triggers all the way up and all the way down and it's reading the entire input okay let's go ahead x rotation is going to be my ls and uh, my right stick so if i go left right it's going to give me full uh, front and back now Y rotation is going to be right stick up and down. So as you can see, it's giving me the full input again. And that's it. Now you can click finish to save your calibration. And then you can come here and test your controller to see if everything is working as it should. And yeah, this is all pretty much in place. My Z axis is working, X rotation, Y rotation, X rotation is working, Y rotation is also working, all of the buttons are fine and that's how simple it is to calibrate your controller in Windows 11. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.